Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are veering off from our normal topic of wreath making and we're going to make this faux lavender topiary. And it was inspired by this pottery barn lavender topiary that I saw online and it was on sale. The clearance price was $62.99 and I did not wanna pay that price. So I'm gonna show you how to put this whole thing together for less than $20 and I think it turned out really cute. The first thing you're gonna need is some lavender bouquets and I got these at Walmart for just around $2. It took me about six of them to do one topiary. I thought these were a little bit too bright purple so I decided to paint them with some of this white chalk paint and you can also get this at Walmart. I just laid them out on my tarp and I gave them a light spray on one side and then I let that dry and then I flipped them over and did the same thing on the other side. Here's what they look like after a couple coats of that white chalk paint. And I really like the, uh, the faded lavender look. I think it looks more natural. The next thing I did was I went hunting in my backyard for a stick for the topiary. Now you could use a dowel if you wanted to, but I wanted mine to have a natural look. So I just took my clippers and clipped off one of these branches. Okay, come back inside and now grab some wire cutters and your bouquets and we're going to snip these off. And I'm starting by snipping them off at the base of each one and then each one of these we're gonna cut into smaller pieces. So after I've done that, I'm gonna take each branch and section them off and then cut them into smaller pieces. And this just allows you to um, create a more natural look for your topiary. Now that you have all your small sections, you're going to start inserting them into your styrofoam balls. And I got these at Hobby Lobby. There were two in a pack and they were $6.99 and then I just used my 40% off coupon. But you're just gonna start inserting each of the small stems right into the ball. You can see here that I'm putting them about a half an inch apart and you can do them a little bit sparser if you want or you can do them tighter together just depending on the look you're going for. I went all the way around my styrofoam ball with the lavender and I felt like it was just a little bit too large for me and each of the stems was sticking out a little bit too much. So I just went around and gave it just a little trim and made it the size that I wanted to. I'm taking a styrofoam block and just putting it right into the center of my terracotta pot. I did get this pot at Joann's. It has a pretty cool look to it that's already aged and just the color I was going for. So I'm gonna just stick my stick right into the middle of that styrofoam and I'm reinforcing it with just a little bit of hot glue so that it's a little more sturdy. And here you go, less than $20 it took for us to do this. And I think it turned out, actually, I like it better than the Pottery Barn one. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.